I'm Sarah and welcome back to my channel. So today I am filming a baby clothes organisation video for you. I am currently 32 weeks pregnant and I've picked up lots of bits for baby girl. The wardrobe and chest of drawers are now in her nursery so I can start to organise them. So me and Rosalie, my daughter, say hi. Hello are going to organise her wardrobe and chest of drawers and share with you how we're doing it. So keep watching if you want to see how I'm going to organise all of my baby clothes. I do have a few new bits that I have bought but I also have a lot of old bits because this is my third baby girl, isn't it? So we have bits that were Rosalie's, we have bits that were Maeve's. I'm going to pick out the good bits, put it all together and give the rest to charity because some of these things I've been clinging on to for a long time. So if you want to see how I organise all that, keep watching. So this is my view as you walk into the room. And to the right is this chest of drawers. So we've got two big drawers and two smaller drawers. I've got a breastfeeding chair there and this is the changing station. I want to get a shelf to go up here so that I can put the nappies and toiletries up above the changing basket and I've just got a little toy there. Over here I have my nappy bin and Gerald the giraffe as Maeve has called it. So this is how we're looking over here. Um, obviously that basket will be up on the wall and I think that will look really nice. The other clothes storage that we have in this room is the wardrobe and it is this small wardrobe here. So that is an Ikea Pax wardrobe. It's oh, the wardrobe that we had there already. We have just bought a door for it and a new little knob because we didn't have one. That was just from eBay. So first of all, I'll go through the wardrobe and show you everything that is in here. In the basket at the top, I have stored my close kaboo carrier which i have never used one of these before but i'm really excited to give it a try it also has this really nice fleece liner so it's going to be super cozy in winter and perfect for the school run so that is living in this basket on top of the wardrobe underneath in the top shelf i just have some gift boxes this one is baby's keepsake box so it's got a book um, with her name on that i've put her scan pictures in and it's just space for, it's kind of like a scrapbook style. It's just a plain book, um, but we can fill it with all her memorable moments. The top one is currently empty. Okay, moving down, we have all of her outfits. So in the wardrobe, I have tried to store bulky items and outfits. So these are like nicer outfits rather than sleep suits. She will probably be living in sleep suits because she is a winter baby and it's cold and I think they're the coziest things and most comfortable. But we do have a few outfits that I have bought, so they are in here. So the IKEA hanger actually pulls out so you can get to it a bit more easily. Um, these hangers were from eBay, I had them for Maeve um, and I've just dug them out so I can put baby girls clothes on them because they're a lot smaller. Um, I'll show you a spare one. They are this size, so they're a lot smaller than normal hangers, um, which means that the baby clothes aren't stretched um, and they fit perfectly. I'm just storing any spare hangers at the back behind that basket. So I've got cardigans, this is a cardigan and, so this is a full outfit. I've got a cardigan and trousers, this gorgeous knitted romper that my mum made, a little dress, this little velvet outfit. Going into not to three now, I've got a dress, another outfit a romper, a little vest and dungarees, another dress, a fleecy snowsuit, a knitted romper, another knitted romper, um, another romper, another knitted romper and this lacy romper. Um, so yeah, lots of big bulky woolen things in there. I've also got her snowsuit in size not to three, which I think will be invaluable. I can might pack that in the hospital bag actually. Under those outfits I just have some baskets. These are the IKEA scub baskets and we've got a few toys in here and um, dummy clips and dummies in there. In here I have all of her bonnets. So these are little bonnets, hats, 
baby hats, um, headbands, more bonnets. Yeah, loads of cute little bits in there. Um, I started with the smallest at the top and then it, they gradually get bigger. Underneath here, I have some muslins. So I think I need to get a few more of these because a lot of you have suggested putting muslins over the sleepy head. This is the first time we've ever used a sleepy head, but a lot of you have suggested oh, using muslins as a way of protecting them. So I've got this swaddle here. Um, that's her cot bed sheet under there. Another muslin there. This one is like a sunshade muslin um, for when you're on holiday. So yeah, lots of, I've also got a few swaddles and large muslins in my hospital bag. In here, next to those swaddles, it's just a box of comforters. I think we've got four. <laughs> um, everyone always buys you these and my girls just don't love them, but maybe this baby will be different. So we've got um, a you and the sheep one, a little bunny one, a bear one, and this cute panda one. Um, so who knows whether she'll like those or not. And they are just sat over my lollipop baby camera. Really excited to start using that. Um, but we haven't set that up yet, so that's still in the wardrobe. And lastly, in this bottom shelf, um, I just have all her toiletries and bits and pieces like that. There's loads of little sample ones at the back, which will be good for traveling. And then bigger ones at the front, which we will work our way through. Um, in this little box is more medicine, so I've got like teething powder, um, E45 cream, stuff like that, and some after sun lotion. I've also got a bib, a silicone bib that I will put in the changing bag once I've got that. And these are her night light toys. So we've got the Snuzz Cloud, which is a sleep aid, and then this Percy the Penguin, um, but they both require setting up. I thought I'd get the Percy out, but he does require setting up, so put him back in his box so I can do it when I've got a bit more time. I also don't want to forget, I feel like if I do it now before she's here I'll forget how to work it. So that is her wardrobe complete, now I'll show you what is in her chest of drawers. So moving back over here in the top two drawers I have shoes. I know she's not going to be wearing these for a while but I do have lots of booties in here. Some of the sleep suits we have don't have feet. So I've got these gorgeous little knitted booties that my mum made. I've got these in a variety of sizes. I'm not sure they will ever actually fit my baby. <laughs> Those ones are tiny, um, but she's done a few. So I have a little selection. She's so good, I'm so lucky. These are ones that I had for Maeve. So there's like a little pair of sandals here, knitted sandals. These little booties. Another pair of little knitted booties. Um, yeah, so they're just all living in there for now. At the back I have some moccasins and some little furry Ugg boots. I seem to have two pairs of these. And this little dark brown pair as well. But obviously she won't fit in those for quite a while. So I've put those at the back. Smaller shoes I have in here, so we have these little baby shoes, um, another pair of moccasin style, and these little ballet pumps. So that is everything in that drawer. In the other top drawer, I'm using these scub dividers again from Ikea. I have gloves in there, so okay, big should probably get the button. I've got some pink gloves and then just some scratch mitts. These are all panties, so little bloomers. Um, I've got pink going down to white, and then I've got a pair of newborn tights. So there's grey, a white, and a pink pair. And then all these are her bibs. I've used these throughout all three of my pregnancies, some of them. <laughs> um, and I always find that if you boil them up, they wash up really well. So um, yeah, they're all in there, ready and waiting to be used. And this is the main drawer. So I'm gonna have one main drawer for each size. So this is not to three stuff, basically. I have all her cardigans at the edge there. This row is tops and trousers. So this is a matching top and trouser set. That's a vest at the front. These two are trousers 
and then the rest are vests but they're not um, plain vests so they're not ready to go under things they're more to wear as a top with a pair of trousers over here um, is where plain white vests will go she is a winter baby so I imagine I'll be wearing vests underneath sleep suits that is my plan um, I've never had a winter baby before Rosalie was a summer baby Maeve was born in May so before sometimes when they were tiny I did put vests underneath but most of the time I just put them in sleep suits so this time I'm going to have to put vests underneath. So I'm going to get, I've got one long sleeve and one short sleeved white, plain white vest in Tiny Baby, I think, from Asda. So I need to just get some more of those. Asda seems to be the cheapest place, so I'm going to just go there and get a pack of Tiny Baby and a pack of not three for when she gets a bit bigger. All these here are like my nicer sleep suits. So these are ones that she would wear in the day um yeah not really pajamary ones more like outfit ones <laughs> these are all a bit thicker as well so you probably won't want to wear them at night a lot of them are velour um because i have a little bit of a velour obsession um so yeah these are all like the nicer outfit ones that you wouldn't wear in bed and then these ones down the side here are all just plain casual sleep suits that are more like pyjamas. So these will be like her pyjama section. And these are actually, as you can see, they're bright, quite bright colours. These were actually Maeve's, so they have already been used. They're a bit more, they're not as nice. Whereas all these ones are brand new. Yeah, so that's my plan. All these are tiny baby as well. I seem to have a lot of those, but obviously because all the not to three ones were probably very well used, so I threw them away. So when she grows out of those, I will just buy her some more like simple plain sleep suits, probably white ones. Underneath, in the bottom drawer, I have new stuff that I have bought in bigger sizes. So I've got a knitted snowsuit there. I've got this um, grow romper there, which I think is 12 to 18. And then I this is the six to nine box and this is the three to six box. So they're just outfits that will, when she's outgrown not to three, these will move up into this main drawer above, but they're just spare for now. So I hope you've enjoyed Baby Girl's nursery organisation video. This is how I have organised all her clothes and all her outfits, all her toiletries and all her baby bits basically. I have one more little basket, which I will show you now, which has her blankets in, um, but that's pretty much where everything will be stored. This beautiful belly basket, which I got from Yarnton Nurseries, and in here um, I've just stored her blankets. So this will just be spare blankets in here. And if I turn around, over here is just a wicker basket. Eventually, we'll get her a toy box, but for now, this is filled with baby toys because she already has quite a lot. Because this is my third baby. I can't wait to get this room finished and show you the full nursery tour but for now this is just how I've organised her drawers. I hope you enjoy it and I hope it helps you if you are planning your baby girl's nursery and sorting through all the baby bits. So that is the end of my baby clothes organisation video. I hope you've enjoyed seeing how Rosalie and I organised all of our baby girl's clothes. It was a big job but I'm so pleased now it's nice and neat and organised and I feel a little bit more prepared for baby girl's arrival in just seven weeks time. If you did enjoy this video then please do subscribe for lots more baby videos, fashion hauls, organisation, homemaking videos. We share all that kind of thing over here. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Bye.